Hello. Welcome back. So we are learning Abacus and we have started already about one module that's Abacus for Beginners. We have posted two videos regarding the same. In the first video, we give an overview of the graphical user interface of Abacus. We have not got into the detail of the tools that are there, but just an overview. In the second video, we try to you know, get started with Abacus by solving a beam, just as you can see on the screen. We solve the, we try to solve this beam in Abacus. It's a cantilever beam with the loading given, the span given and cross section shown. So, but in the previous video, we tried to solve this as one dimensional beam. In this video, we are creating a 3D geometry of the beam and trying to solve the same. So, in this video, you'll be you'll get familiar with how to create 3D geometry of a of a beam here, and rest of the things will almost will be more or less same as we discussed in the previous video. So let's get started. Here is your uh, Abacus uh, GUI. So the similar procedure, we need to follow these, these steps, part, property, assembly. We are already familiar with the same now. So let's click on create part. In the create part, let's name it as beam. 3D, right? Model space 3D, you need not do anything with that. Type is deformable, of course, deformable. Here, in the previous video, we had mentioned a basic feature is wire because we wanted to create a one dimensional beam. But here, we are creating a 3D, so we have to keep it as solid. Type is extrusion. Other features you will get to know in near future. So approximate site of the grid is, let's keep it as 9000. That is in the space of 9000 by 9000 units, you'll be ordering something. It hardly matters. Continue. This grid is 9000 by 9000 actually. So if I am if I'm, uh, plotting something here, it's, uh, and it is within the reach, it's, it becomes easy. So here, let's create a rectangle, the cross-section of the beam. The cross-section is nothing here. It is 300 by 400. So I am going to create a cross-section of any dimensions. You just need to create a rectangle. Go to the dimensions, add dimensions. Click on this length. This length is 300. Correct, 300 units, but I am using mm. So, this is 400, is the depth of the beam, correct? I'm done with the cross section. Now, I need to define the length. Now, what you need to do is you click on escape, click done, that I am done with the sketch. A dialog box will pop up. It says what is the depth. That means what is the dimension in the third direction. Third direction means the length. My length is 5000 mm. You're already familiar. We have discussed in the previous video. Okay. See, a 3D geometry of the beam is created. I hope you got it. What is the next step? Go to the properties. Create material. Let's name it as steel. It doesn't matter. It doesn't affect anything. Naming. Steel, but it becomes easy to identify if you have multiple materials. Steel, general, what is the density? I told you here density, since I am uh, operating in mm units, my density should be in tons per mm cube. Correct? As discussed in the previous video. So density is 700, 7800 kg per meter cube. So I need to multiply it with e power minus. 12. That will be the mass density of the steel. Now density is defined. Go to the mechanical mechanical elasticity. What are the elastic properties? Young is modulus. It is 2 
e power 5 correct 2 e power 5 newton per mm square poisson's ratio 0 0.3 if you if you are not getting how am i giving these units you just refer to the previous video i've explained what unit system do we need to follow and we have to be consistent because there is no specific unit system in built in abacus so whether we are operating in mm or meter we have to follow some set of units that are defined for abacus that is discussed in the previous video okay okay now i created a material here i created a material it's here available you can edit it now material is created let's create a section section again solid section let's steel let's name it as steel solid in the previous video we had defined the beam but here since it's a solid 3d geometry we have to define solid homogeneous okay now what material do you want to assign to this section only one material is there it, it will automatically take it i'll take it or click on okay now a section has been created steel solid that has a material assigned now second is assign section now i want to assign this section to this beam click on assign section select the regions to be assigned the section this is the region click on ok done see this dialog box it says do you want to assign this section since there is only single section yes and the material is steel of this section okay this has turned green green means a section has been assigned to this b third we want to create assembly create instance see there is only one part so but we need to you know take it to the assembly it says do you want to make it dependent or independent dependent means if i keep it dependent i will have to mesh it in the part module not in the assembly if i keep it independent i will be able to mesh it in the assembly itself so let's keep it make it independent okay assembly is done sit up oh what is the type analysis that you want to do create step static general as discussed in the previous okay you don't need to do anything this is for non-linear geometry since it's linear elastic problem only doesn't matter okay now step has been created that means we want to do static general analysis interaction because there are no part no two parts or multiple parts associated so we need not define interaction here load okay how do i apply the load because the problem is one dimensional here and in the one dimensional problem that we solved in abacus last video in the last video it was easy to you know we created a line load and applied it on the beam but here it's a surface right how to do it we need to apply it as a pressure pressure load pressure okay now it says select the surface for the load this is a surface for the load done it says what is the magnitude of this so you need to be careful here what is the magnitude because we are applying pressure what equivalent pressure will be equal to this 5 kilonewton per meter so we have to actually we have to divide this 5 kilonewton per meter divided by the width of the beam that is 300 so 5 upon 300 will be the pressure newton per mm square that we have to apply so that it is equivalent to 5 kilonewton per meter along unit unit width that means a line uh, uh, when when we model it is a one dimensional beam so 5.300 is uh, nothing but it is 0 
MPA or Newton per m square. Now, if we multiply this with the uh, with the width, it will be five. So we have to we have to input as zero point zero one six 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 or six six seven. Let's keep it as six. You don't need to define direction. You know, you don't need to define minus or plus, upward or downward. Since this is pressure, it automatically gets applied to the normal of the surface. Just like this. The pressure has been applied to normal of the surface that we selected. Now we are done with the loading. In the lower module itself, we need to create boundary condition. We need to fix it on one side to make it as a cantilever beam. Go to boundary conditions. Go to symmetry, anti-symmetry, and caster. Okay. He's, it says select the regions for the boundary condition. We want to fix this. Done. Okay. These are the boundary conditions available. X symmetric, Y symmetric. And caster is everything is fixed. Everything is restrained. That means a fixed boundary condition. Okay. So I have applied a fixed boundary condition on the left. This left of the B. I'm almost done. Load is done, now mesh. We need to go to the mesh. We need to go to seed part. Seed part means what is the mesh size that you want to assign. 300, I think it's too much. 300 is the width of the beam, so it will create only one element across the width. So let's keep it as 50 mm. Apply. See, it will uh, give a kind of shadow, uh, you know, visualization. This is how the mesh will look like, my size. We'll say, okay, we are okay with it. We have just adopted this size. We have not yet meshed it. So the next is mesh part instance. Are you okay to mesh the part? Yes. Now we have meshed the, meshed the part. Next is job. We want to create a job. Got it. Job. We'll, we'll name it as steel 3D. We have just created a job. Okay. But before that, we need to save this somewhere. So by default, it is saved as uh, in the go to the file, set work directory. It is saved as C temp. So we can change the directory here. We can go to E, Abacus for Beginners. In the last video, I had made this. We can select Abacus for Beginners. Okay. Okay. So, this module itself and also the, uh, the results of this beam will be saved in Abacus for Beginners. Now, go to Job Manager, select Submit. running monitor we can monitor the beam oh it's come it's almost done it's completed dismiss what are the results this is the result file so what is u that's what we are interested in 1.24 1 1.24 is the deflection at uh, we will we can see different at uh, different angles. This is the angle we are interested in. Here on the left hand side it's fixed and it's uh, it's still getting deflected this way. But since only 1.24 mm is the deflection, this view is exaggerated view. I told you in the previous video, go to options, common, uniform. See, this is this has been exaggerated by 402 times. So let's go with this. So 1.24, our solution is 1.22. So let's give one more try. Go to the mesh, make it even finer. We'll make it 25 mm is the element size. We'll make it very finer. Okay, so that we can get closer to the value. 
uh, when in a mesh, mesh, yes, see, it gets made it even finer. Go to the job, we can resubmit it, it will overwrite the previous job. Running. We won't have to wait a long because this is just a simple, simple problem. It won't take much of a time. Yeah, it's completed. Results. We'll go to U. Primary. U is the deflection. This is the magnitude that there is. Now we are close. 1.22. 1.22, 1.22. We are uh, almost there, two decimal points. We have, we have matched it. Right. I hope uh, you can go to these waves. This is the view that we are interested in. Here it is deflecting. Deflecting. This is the free end. This is the fixed end. This is B. This is A. I hope you. Uh, got an idea at how to create a 3D geometry, how to apply loads on 3D geometries. So we have to apply it as a pressure. Right, so our FEA results is, uh, we'll, we'll write it here. We'll write it here. Oh, so let's our FEM finite element analysis result is a delta at B is equal to 1.2299. So we have matched to the deflection of our numerical analysis. That's an approximate analysis with the analytical or what we you know we have formulae for so in the next now we are uh, almost there we are almost uh, we have almost grasped like how to get started with abacus now since uh, i believe you're not familiar with most of the tools there in the next few videos we won't be analyzing any particular beam or a column or or any structural element but we will we'll be creating different types of geometries how to create an i section here we created just a rectangular beam how to create i section how to use different types of tools that are there in abacus right how to make holes in the you know any any kind of geometry that you create so next few videos will be focused on those aspects. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you'll try to replicate the same and try to get uh, this answer. Make it make a mesh finer, but making mesh finer may give you the you know more accurate results, but it comes with the you no know, with like uh, you have to spend much more time on analysis because it's computationally expensive it will take more time to analyze that structural element the finer you go in mesh i hope you liked it and i hope if you have any kind of queries you will put it in the comment section hope to see you in next video thank you so much